Hello and welcome to PA Academy. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw a common internal tangent to two unequal circles. So if you have two uh, different circles that are not equal, that is different radius. So how do you go ahead to draw uh, a common internal tangent? So that means you're going to be having something like this. If you have the bigger circle and then the smaller circle. So to draw the internal tangent, you're going to be having something like this. So how do you go about it? So that's what I'm going to be doing in this video. So the first thing we are going to do is to draw the circles. So let me draw, uh, first of all, draw the bigger one. So depending on, um, you might be given, maybe if you are given an assignment or a question, you might be given uh, the radius of the circle to use. But what's this, what the uh, most important thing is to understand uh, the concept. So here is the first circle. So let me just reduce the radius so that I can draw the second circle. So this is the second circle. So next thing we have to do is, from the center of each circle, let's draw a line. So let's call this point A, and we call this point B. Let's call this point point C, where the line is touching the circumference. Let's call this point, point C. And then for this other circle, let's call this point D. So the next thing we have to do is, with the same uh, radius we used to draw the circle, because if you notice I didn't change it, it's still, still the same. So with the radius, you put it on point D. On point D and then you just draw a small arc so let's call that point point E so that's point E so what it means is that CB is equals to D is equals to DE so let's continue so the next thing you have to do is now you pick the same with your compass now the length of AE a E now, so you can just pick your compass and put it on this point on point A, and then you put the pencil part on point E. So with this length now, you draw an arc. You draw an arc. So that is there. So next is for us to draw a semicircle on line A B. So on line A B, you are going to draw a semicircle, a semicircle upward. Now, we don't know the center of line AB. So what we are going to do, the first thing we have to do now is to bisect line AB so that we can get the center of line AB. So to do that, so you put your compass across line AB. So this is it. Draw an arc at the top. And below so with the same length you go to point B draw an arc at the top and below so what you have to do next so from where they both intercept each other So you draw a straight line. So now we've gotten the center. And from there we can now draw the semicircle. So just to confirm that yes. Okay. So now we can draw the semicircle. So now 
where this semicircle is touching this arc that we drew earlier. So let's call that point, point uh, the next alphabet is point F. So just pay attention to all those points. We have points A, B, C, D, E, and then, okay, so we have point A, B, C, D, E, and point F. So from point F now, we are going to draw a straight line to point A. So from point F to point A. Now where this line AF is touching this circle on the circumference, let's call that point point G. So like I said earlier, note all those points, point G. Now what we are going to do is, we are going to draw a line that is parallel to line a f a line that's from this point b downward from this line a point b downward such that it will be parallel to line a f so for us to do that so we can just pick our compass you can see we'll be using the compass a lot use it to measure le uh, the length of a f You can as well use your ruler to first of all measure it. Maybe you pick your ruler, you measure it, and then you take your compass on your ruler. So whichever one you find convenient, um, it's still same. So with this length now, I come to point B, and then draw an arc. So that is, with the length of AF, I've been able to draw that arc. So i also take the length from F down to B. From F down to B. So with that length, I'll just come over to A. And draw another arc to cut the other arc. So now from that point B, So the one we've just drawn, they are meeting here. This is the meeting point. So I'm just going to draw a line from that point B. I won't draw it to get to the um, to where these arcs are intersecting each other. So I can just draw it to touch the circumference of the smaller circle. So let me call that point, point H. So point H. So that means AF is parallel is parallel to HB HB so that means this line AF is parallel to line HB so so the next thing to do is this point G and this point H you join them together now this line that we are joining together that like I'm drawing right now is the tangent the internal tangent to these two circles and that is the main thing that we are looking for the internal tangents to these two circles two unequal circles so with this now this is how you draw a common internal tangent to two unequal circles so if you find this video helpful uh, make sure you give it a thumbs up make sure you give it a like um if you are not still clear please we'll just go back and watch it again I believe it's um, self-explanatory. If you have any question or any comments for me, just leave them in the uh, comment section below. And if you are yet to subscribe, please click on the subscribe button, the red button there with subscribe on it. Just click on it and the little bell icon beside the subscribe button. Alright, I believe you've done that. So, with that, I'll see you all in another video. Bye for now.